Kia ora year ones, welcome back to another writing lesson for experts. So those of you needing a bit extra, um, bit of an extra challenge, this is for you. So for this writing piece, you will need to have watched uh, the YouTube clip of the Colour Monster story. Uh, most of you would have heard this story in class, read by your teacher, but you'll need to refresh your memory and have a listen to it again. So today for your writing, you are going to be learning to add feeling words to your writing. And the reason you want to add feeling words to a writing piece is to make it more interesting for the reader. Okay, so there are some success criteria for your writing. These are the things you need to include in your writing to be successful. So you will need to have at least two feeling words in your writing piece today. Uh, you need to be able to say why you feel that way and when you felt that way. Okay, um, have a little think. An example could be perhaps there's a time when you've been feeling a little bit sad, maybe because you have been missing your friends from school. Or you might have felt really, really happy when you went for a bike ride with your mum or your dad. So those are just some examples to help you. Okay, so if you have been successful in your writing, you will see some things. And these are the things that you will see. You will see some feeling words, for example, happy or sad or calm. There are lots of examples in the Colour Monster story for you. And you will need to have included a joining word or two joining words. Um, some examples are because or when telling us when you felt that way. So if you are successful in your writing today, this is what you will see, or I will see when you send me a photo of it, or your mum or dad will see. Okay, so let's just refresh. We are learning to add feeling words to our writing. And the reason we're doing this is to make it more interesting for the reader. Uh, we need to have included in our writing today at least two feeling words, why you felt that way or when you felt that way. Um, good luck, have fun. When we come back for the second part of my video, I will have written my writing and we will assess it. Um, you can help me with that. Okay, so good luck and have lots of fun. Welcome back to the second part of the Colour Monster writing video. Remember, this was the video for experts, and now we're going to assess my writing. So to do that, we need to read it to check that it makes sense. So here I go. I feel calm when I'm sitting reading a good book. The colour monster is green when he is calm. I am a little bit frustrated because I don't know when I can go back to school. Okay, so we need to go back and have a look at our success criteria to remind ourselves what we needed to include in our writing today. So we needed to make sure we had at least two feeling words and we needed to be able to say why we felt that way or when we felt that way, okay? We also need to remember all these things at the top here. These are the things that we have to make sure we do in our writing all the time. So let's have a look at Miss Smith's writing. And I've got my pink highlighter to circle all of my feeling words and all of those times I told you when or why I felt that way. Because remember, those are the things we have to do in our writing to be successful. So let's have a look. Let's start at the beginning. I feel calm when I'm sitting reading a good book. So which of those words in that first sentence do you think are the feeling words or is the feeling word? That's it. That's the word calm. So I'm going to put a circle around that. So you can do the same when you self-assess your own writing. Okay, so let's carry on to the next sentence. The colour monster is green when he is calm. There's that word calm again. I've used the word calm in the second sentence, but I've also told you that he is green when he feels calm. Remember, telling me when or why was part of the success criteria. So that's why I've circled that word when. Let's carry on. I am a little bit frustrated because I don't know when I can go back to school. 
Can you hear another feeling word in that sentence? It's a long one. That's right, it's this big word here, frustrated. I feel frustrated. And I've told you it's because I've used a joining word to tell you why. Because I don't know when we can go back to school. Okay, so you can have a go now at self-assessing your writing. Try it by yourself, but if you need a little bit of help, you could ask your mum or dad. Don't forget also to check these things at the top here. These are the things that you can do every time you do some writing. Okay, so we're checking for capital letters at the beginning of sentences, full stops at the end of each sentence, uh, finger spaces. Hmm, what else do you need to remember to do? I haven't underlined my my try words, but you can remember to do that. Remember those my try words are those words that you have to really listen for the beginning, middle and end sounds. Um, hmm, have you needed to use your word card to remember how to correctly spell some of those keywords that you will have written in your writing? Okay, so in this part of the video, we are learning to self-assess and we're learning to edit our work, checking that we've spelt keywords correctly, checking we've got all of these things happening, okay? So we are learning to self-assess and to edit our work. So I hope you've had lots of fun with that writing challenge. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, look back for another time when I'll be giving you another writing lesson with another learning intention. Remember today we were learning to use feeling words in our writing. So I hope you've had lots of fun doing that. Don't forget to get mum or dad to take a photo of your writing and send it to your teacher. Okay, kā kite anō.